All right, hello and welcome to Lunacid, a uh, first-person Kingsfield-like developed by Kira LLC. Uh, this game was released in 2023 and has garnered pretty significant praise from people who like uh, FromSoft games. So uh, why don't we just go ahead and get started? Ooh, sure. Lunacid, Lunacid, I don't know how it's pronounced. Kill the past. It's moody. What in the world? Some say cause them. Long ago. Long ago. There's voice. A great beast came from the sea and brought with it a poisonous fog that spread across the earth, corrupting everything it reached. The poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Now, grounded by the poison sky and outnumbered by creatures, humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. This is for sure Robert Belgrade, Alucard's voice actor. Undesirable such as criminals or the ill are cast out, banished into the depths of the great well, a pit of the diseased and undead. The great well is said to have but one door to the surface. Cow chips as you called it, it totally is. Yeah, I recognized it instantly. That's cool that they got Robert Belgrade. I love his voice. It's got such a unique quality. Oh, am I in control? No. This game probably looks absolutely incredible on a 4.3 CRT. Wretched thief, thinking of stealing your life back? You belong to the depths now. Chomp. I love the loading screen. Oh, a hidden figure from a faraway land cast into the well for their crimes. They begin with little, but are adept at finding their lost pleasure. Oh, you start with different. Uh, you can pick your pronouns and stuff. That's cool. You start as they, them, some neo pronouns. That's cool. Oh, OK, this is the stats. Ooh, a vamp, a vampy. Look at these cute little characters. Really charismatic. External image. <laughs> Got it, okay. Uh, which one do I want?
Valiant warrior, steadfast and determined. Uh, albeit lost without a king, they excel at combat and find glory in violence. Low speed. Witch, vampire. Bloodthirsty creature of the night, awakened by hunger. They are replenished by the shedding of blood, but weakened from fire. Undead, a discarded corpse, unwanted by the world above, highly resistant and stubborn. Royal, a child of noble birth, inexperienced but well equipped, otherwise, their lineage foretelling of importance. Cleric, nurturing healer on their pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well. They put others first, for better or for worse. Uh, this music, it hits me. Shinobi, a silent, deadly shadow sent into the well to assassinate. They care not for the corpses left behind, only those ahead. Forsaken, a waste of flesh, notable for nothing, lest the dust it leaves behind. They have nothing to lose, driven forward only by self-loathing. Uh, this is the, this is deaf. Mm. Hidden figure from a faraway land, the cast into the well for their crimes. They begin with little but are adept at finding lost treasure. Given the conversation that was said, this feels like this feels like the 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 proper thing. Plus level five, you have how do how do the levels in this game work? Level ten. What? So the thing is, is in Souls games, right? Uh, this is a problem with Dark Souls one. The playing as Pyromancer in. Um, in Dark Souls 1 is actually the best start because despite being like level three or whatever, you start with more stats than a normal character would be able to get at level three, or maybe they start at level one or something. Their stat spread is just objectively better. So rather than playing as Deprived in Dark Souls 1, if you want a clean slate, you should play as Pyromancer. Um, mm, but I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know the way the leveling works in this game. I don't know the way that it works. So, cause like the thing that's confusing to me is that level five start with hundred HP, 50 MP and then equal stats there. But Forsaken is one starts here, 20 and 10. I guess you have better resistances in some regards. Nope. I don't know. Kind of confusing. Cleric. Cleric speaks to me. Because I like clerics. Um, What shall his name be? I don't really know what this is going to do for me. I mean, Forsaken maybe could be good, but Cleric. Nothing. Hollow Basin. Interesting. All right, escape does nothing. Space is jump. Tab opens up my menu. Sensitivity, view Bob, uh, FOB, uh, crank that up a little bit to 85, I think. Is it 85 for ultra wide? I don't remember. Player speed cap, what does that mean? Oh, um, 
Gotcha. Difficulty, screen shake, that's fine. Is this going to be good? Uh, no, there's warping on the screen. Uh, I know this is boring to watch me do right as we start the game, but... There we go, that's better. What is the simple uh, compass? I like the Kingsfield one. Okay. Let's see. Is there a way to interact? That's what I should be checking. I'm stupid. Let's check the keybinds. Oh, wow. This is just a notepad. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. <laughs> okay. That was weird. <laughs> this is going to try to Kingsfield me, and I'm going to walk directly into a trap and die instantly and have to start the game over. There is an enemy somewhere. I don't know how to attack. Shift is walk. Lost grave, Akuma Kira. Cool. Neato. Replica sword acquired. Weapon experience. An expertly sculpted piece of stone made to resemble the steel longswords of the castle guard. Not an elegant weapon by any means, but better than nothing. I have no magic wing rings. Wowee! Okay, I get it. I get it. Seek the slumbering creature of moonlight. They are the last existing door. Nani? Okay. We can break pots. All right, there is stuff down there. I can't lean. Oh, we don't love this. Do I get weapon experience for breaking leaves? Sure looks like it. So there's an incentive to break the little things around me. It's considered practice. Um, let's walk back to where we came. This is interesting. Okay, so there is, an, there is a tall area up there that we can get to. Yeah, we're, we're gaining experience doing this, so unfortunately it is valuable to do so. I'm going to come back here and clean up all of the uh, experience we have uh, left on the ground here. Because it's going to matter more to us in the early levels than it will in the later ones. Very neat. Can I break the coffins? I can, and there's definitely an enemy in one of them. Is 
something to my r my right. Are there illusory walls? You have to wonder. You simply must. All right. Sounds like there's something right here, but I'm not not seeing it. Do I just have to interact with the wall? I'm trying to figure out if there is an illusory wall, just so that I know how the mechanic works. Um, so I'm just going to wiggle around over here and touch the wall a lot and try to see if I can trigger one to appear. Because I can hear something right in front of me right here. The wall jiggles when you smack it. That's kind of funny. Is this a save point? It is. This game has save points. That's cool. And this is going to tell me I can't go this way without six gems. It's not going to tell me that, but you can tell. One, two, three, four gems. Or eight, possibly. I don't know. Newest of the fallen, take up your sword and fight. All right. Well, how much experience did that give us? It was a decent amount. Um, This is a cool ass game already. I'm very happy we're playing it because I've been wanting to play this game for a while and no one voted for it last time. It was like number three in the poll of games I wanted people to vote for. It was the game I wanted to win uh, over Zone of the Enders, but... I am a dutiful servant to my patrons, and um, I play what they want. Ocean Bone Shard to Lunar stuff. Moons, two moons acquired. Let's call the currency moons in this game. That sounds fair. So I wanted to check out whatever the hell this is because the game is clearly bringing me over to it. And this is, this would be the snail that I heard through the wall. Oof. Oh no, it's crying and scared because I chopped its brain off. Uh, I am expecting that I am going to die by walking down here. So we will see because there's a big twinkly glittery thing and I've played Kingsfield and know what I'm doing. Temple of Silence Hollow Basin. I need a key to get down here. Health vial. No effect. So I must need to equip a key and use it on there to go in. So now we know how doors work. Okay. Can I interact with corpses? No. 
Oh, I can guard. I didn't even realize. Now, is there weapon damage? Is there any degradation or anything? Guard, backstep. How do I backstep? Oh, I can turn by holding walk and then back. Okay. Pergy says the format reminds me of classic Doom. This is, it's very much a Kingsfield leg. It's trying to be Kingsfield. This thing's gonna mess me up. Milk snail. He's gonna milk me. No, he hid in his shell. Okay, so yeah, moons are the currency, they're coins. Limited interaction. Well, we're doing okay on health for now. One of these enemies is going to be harder than the others to signal areas that are hard to go to. Oh, cursed. Must I wait? Oh no. Okay, so I wait for the chains to fade away. Bing. These things are not too dangerous for us, but... Wait for it to fade. All right, so that taught us status elements, or status effects. There are a lot of corpses down here. Something glowing over there. Ghost light. Summons a spectral orb of light that follows the caster for 60 seconds. Useful for illuminating the depths of the well. Okay. How do I cast magic? Huh, how do I do that, is the question. Game manual, okay. This is a neat, this is neat. Control, story, creation, starting classes, combat, magic and lunacy, leveling. All right. Use magic C, use write magic V. Okay. Um, is this a game I should be playing with a controller? Shift button east. X. Got it. 
Uh, bumper, bumper. D-pad up, D-pad right. Okay. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Are the monsters giving better experience than plants? Yes. Yes, they are. Long ago, a great beast came from the sea and it spread a poisonous fog across the earth. This event transformed the world into a new age. An age of magic, but also an age of death. Creatures and abominations came from the fog. Silver liquid fell from the moon and made a deep passage into the earth. As humans became destitute, having fought and lost to creatures throughout the many years, they created the Great Well, a series of pits and tunnels carved out by the silver moonlight. And into this sunken heap, they banished the abominations, creatures, and anything else undesirable. A simple thief, one who would steal back their life, has just been thrown into this strange underworld. Creation, character creation, choose a class, thief, blah, blah, blah combat. There's nothing here to learn about. It doesn't actually tell me anything. Combat consists of attacking, blocking, and magic. Use each often to your advantage. Block with the melee weapon by pressing the block button. It will take less damage while blocking, depending on the weapon's stats. Magic and lunacy. Uh, the land is rife with various spells. The spell will also need mana or blood, depending on the type of spell. Mana is recharged by interacting with a crystal menu. Blood regains naturally and by a crystal menu. Casting spells will also cause lunacy, dependent on the caster's maximum mana, spell cost, and real-world lunar cycle. Lunacy causes more damage to be inflicted, both by the player's spells and creatures. It also increases EXP gained. Ah! Killing enemies grant experience um, displayed as a percentage on the status screen. At 100 or more experience, you can level up your various stats at a crystal menu. Some weapons can be leveled up into better weapons by inflicting damage to monsters and breakables. To level up a weapon when it's ready, you must take it to a smith's grave. Okay. Castlevania status effects, that's easy. Not all NPCs are hostile. Many discarded souls have found their way into the Great Well over the years. While many became feral ghouls or aggressive creatures, some of the powerful have kept their sanity and altruistic nature. Some can be talked to and may offer aid, items, or services, while others may be docile creatures. Alchemy. Across your journey, you will come across material items. These can be used with alchemy to create potions or items. If you find an alchemist, then you should try combining what you have on the three dials. If you place items into the mix, only viable mixtures or identical materials will appear selectable. Okay. Credits. A slice of broken ocean bone, a forgotten withered remnants of a dead fellow. Okay. Interesting. This is fascinating. I love this. Um, part of me is wondering if I should just use an actual controller. If I use an actual controller, I can lean back, which is comfy. Nope. Let me look at the controls again, figure this out real quick. Gamepad doesn't have shift is button east. Oh, it's B. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just do this for now. This is comfy. There's uh, interesting. Okay.
I hate that it's moving over there because it means it's trying to lure me. I can't aim. There we go. No, I got cursed. All right, got an onyx. I'm gonna really have egg on my face when I need experience to uh, level up some like super high level end game item and I've unfortunately destroyed all the grass everywhere. Huh. Where is this? This feels like a boss chamber. And there is exploring I wanna do still. Ah! Oh, it's the girl from manual. All right, we're not going to go over here yet. Let's go finish exploring the outer area. I like that sound. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about the keyboard controls is the, um... The casting. the Kingsfield Shuffle when you shuffle back and forth right in front of someone. Alright, so there isn't anything else here. It is just that one location to go to, so. Goody. very mysterious and beautiful. What the? How did I miss this before? Where is this? Oh no, guys. I'm lost. This is bad. It's bad, everyone. I'm lost. Ah... Uh... So splash. Okay, nah, it's probably this way. Right, this has got to be the way I'm supposed to go. Okay. Flame Spear, okay. This doesn't use type aggressive, conjuring aggressive. Doesn't seem to use HP though, which is the thing I was worried about. So we're fine. Got to be careful around a soul's NPC. Well, you look a little lost. 
This area is called Hollow Basin, and it's the highest reached point of the Great Well. It's one of the safest areas of the Great Well, except of course, Wings Rest. Speaking of Wings Rest, I can spirit you there if you want. No. Righty, well, I'm here if you ever need to get there. Okay. She's gonna pa she she would have patches me. That's I'm 100% certain of it. You are not gonna fool me. You are not gonna fool me. It will not happen. I will save before that. Patches the tiefling is yeah. I'm not gonna get screwed over. Okay, so you get multiple skill points per level. Which is good to know. Everything adds to HP. Uh, oh no. So your main attack functions determine. Your strength and your defense determine HP. Xeria defines jump height and damage done with ranged weapons. Intelligence defines maximum mana, spell damage, and how fast spells charge. Defines how long status effects take to wear off. Oh, okay, that's fine. For now, let's do strength, speed. All right, well, with nowhere else to go, we may as well just take her up on her offer and deal with the fact that she's probably going to screw me. Hiya. Want to go to Wings Rest? Yes. Gotcha. One moment. She looks like the Shadow Tower lady. What's her name? Rua? Oh no. She didn't screw me over. Wings Rest. Here we are. Very neat.